Food and shelter are the mainstays of the human survival mechanism. Traditionally, people provided these for themselves, growing food and building their own homes. Nowadays, people work, and with the money they obtain from that, they buy their food and shelter on the open market. When people express a wish to distance themselves from the modern way of life and to begin living more sustainably, they have to re-engage with the processes of growing food and of creating shelter. While people have never given up growing food for themselves, they have given up building for themselves. As a result, these essential skills have been lost. Learning how to design and construct a small building is the best way of recovering lost shelter-making skills. Econo space making leads you through this process from conception to built reality. Econo space is an abbreviation of the words economical space. Econo spaces are small buildings which can fulfill a range of everyday needs. The design and construction process has been configured to be practical and realistic in respect of the skills, time and resources most people have available to them. Almost all modern building activity is subject to legislative control administered by local authorities. This means that normally one has to obtain some form of permission in order to build something. However, there also exists a category of building activity which is largely free from legislative control called exempted development. Exempted development is designed to facilitate small-scale works within the boundaries of existing properties, for example, the building of a shed or a studio behind an existing house. Generally, there are limits to the floor area, the height, position and the use to which such small buildings can be put. In some cases, a building of 25 square meters can be constructed with a ridge height of 4 meters, which is quite a substantial size. Even a building of 10 square meters, if it is well thought out, will facilitate many different uses and could be constructed very economically indeed. Econo spaces are designed to qualify as exempt development, which means that one can get on with the job of making and learning without the complications of having to obtain permissions or permits. Learning how to design and construct small buildings is essential for anybody wishing to embrace a sustainable way of life. When these skills have been mastered, a person can then confidently tackle into the more demanding task of creating larger buildings. Before you embark on the creation of your space, it is useful to understand a little bit about buildings and architecture in general. Buildings are made of two essential parts. The first of these is the outside or the building fabric comprising walls, floor and roof. The second part is the inside space which is enclosed by this building fabric. This is the most important part of any building because generally it is where life is lived. The fact that buildings are made up of these two essential parts, an outside and an inside, makes buildings very much like ourselves. We have physical bodies and an interior world made up of our imaginations, our dreams, our unconscious and so on. It is this inside part of ourselves which most closely represents who we really are. The same is true of buildings. The life to be lived within them is the most important consideration when we embark on the design and construction process. 
It is this focus which brings a design to life. Such living architecture strives to balance inner and outer considerations, just as we strive to balance our physical needs with those of our inner selves. Sustainable living shares a similar goal, harmonization with the physical world and with the inner mysteries of life. <laughs>